Thank you, Dr. Mathis. I appreciate that. That brings me to a place where I want to introduce to you Dr. Paul Harrison Chitwood. And I might say as the committee, uh, there were three things that we decided that we wanted. Number one, we wanted uh, character uh, above all and foremost. We want someone with the right character. We wanted someone with the right chemistry. Uh, people that could, uh, someone that could relate to you as Kentucky Baptist. And then beyond that, we wanted someone with a competence. Those three C's, character, chemistry, and competence. And we found that in Dr. Uh, Paul Harrison Chipwood. I'm going to let him introduce his family to you in just a moment. They're seated here with him. But most of you know that he's currently serving as the senior pastor of First Baptist Church, uh, Mount Washington, Kentucky. That's where he's currently serving. And some of you that have seen his resume know that he's also pastored church, First Baptist Church in Somerset, Kentucky, First Baptist Church in Owenton, Kentucky, and also the South Fork Baptist Church in Owenton, Kentucky. And he's well prepared academically. Um, he's uh, currently, um, uh, of course, has a Doctor of Philosophy degree from the Billy Graham School uh, of Missions and Evangelism and Church Growth, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary in Louisville, Kentucky, with concentration on evangelism and church growth. He received a Master of Divinity for, also from Southern and a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Cumberland in Williamsburg, Kentucky, and uh, went to high school there in Williamsburg. And so he's well prepared educationally. He's also adjunct professor of missions and evangelism at the University of Cumberland. He's also the assistant professor of Billy Graham School of Missions and Evangelism at the Southern Baptist uh, Theological Seminary, adjunct professor of the Billy Graham School of Evangelism and Church Growth. Um, uh, well, let's see, I'm repeating that. But then also, he's the adjunct professor of missions and evangelism and church growth at Boyce uh, Bible School or Bible College as well, teaching assistant at the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. And uh, he served, of course, as our past president of the Kentucky Baptist Convention. He's been a trustee of the International Mission Board of the Southern Baptist Convention and also first vice president of the Kentucky Baptist Convention back in 2003-2004. President of our pastor's conference, he served in every area. He's a young man, but he's not young to the faith. And uh, so we're so thankful. So I want Dr. Uh, Paul Chitwood to come at this time, introduce his family, say a few words to you, and then I also want him to be available for questions from you, okay? And so, Dr. Chitwood, you come. Thank you, Dr. Badgett, and uh, thank you, Search Committee, for allowing me this privilege to come before the Mission Board today. Uh, let me begin by introducing my family. Uh, my wife, Michelle, uh, stands uh, here to my right. She's holding our four-year-old daughter, uh, Kai. This is uh, our 12-year-old daughter, Anna, uh, who's uh, quickly uh, approaching the uh, beauty of her mother, and uh, my 14-year-old son, Daniel, who's quickly approaching the height of his father. <laughs> I think he's going to pass me up here really soon. Uh, but uh, I'm thankful they have been incredible blessing in my life and thankful uh, to have the privilege of uh, allowing you to uh, meet them today uh, as uh, uh, we introduce ourselves to you. You all can have a seat now. Thank you for coming up. Let me share with you just uh, a little bit about myself, my testimony, so you'll know uh, more about who I am and from whence I come. Uh, I was raised uh, just across the state line. In fact, uh, if you're familiar with Jellicoe, Tennessee, the state line sort of splits the town there. Michelle was from the Kentucky side of town, and I was from the Tennessee uh, side of town. Uh, we moved back there when I was two. Uh, our uh, mother left our family when I was two. My older brother was four, my younger brother was one, and my father raised us uh, from that point on. Uh, we moved into uh, the, the projects there in Jellicoe where uh, my grandparents were living uh, along with uh, two of their children who were still at home. Uh, so we were caught in there for uh, a few years. His dad tried to get back on his feet uh, after uh, our uh, home broke up, but uh, dad uh, uh, was uh, 
working at the telephone office there in Jellico. In fact, he retired from there a couple years ago with uh, 45 years of service. And uh, we got a visit one day, a little house we were renting uh, from uh, uh, some deacons from First Baptist Church Jellico, inviting us uh, to come and uh, worship with them. And so we did that. Dad began to take us uh, uh, to uh, worship on a regular basis, and uh, he joined the church. It was a few years later uh, when I was about eight years old and my older brother uh, began to express an interest in, in giving his life to Christ. And our pastor at the time was Alan Herod, uh, who was a longtime pastor in Kentucky and now back serving again uh, in, in Kentucky. And he came by uh, one evening and sat in our living room and explained to my older brother what it would mean for him to give his life to Christ. My younger brother and I uh, listened in to uh, that conversation. And the three of us uh, that evening uh, prayed and put our trust in Christ, and we were saved, and we were baptized together at First Baptist Church in Jellicoe, and that's the only church that I was a member of until I began to pastor South Fort Baptist Church uh, in Owen County. Uh, we raised under the nurturing of a good church family there and some uh, good pastors uh, in, uh, in our church home. I felt the Lord calling me to ministry uh, as a college student at the uh, then Cumberland College, now the University of the Cumberlands, and uh, was uh, uh, only hesitant to answer that call because of a uh, sense of un unworthiness about uh, serving as, uh, as, as a minister. And I wasn't certain what that ministry would look like if I would serve as a pastor or in some other role. Uh, but uh, as uh, uh, found affirmation from the Lord and and his spirit as well as from our church family uh, I answered that call and began to uh, change my course of study at the University of Cummins and prepare uh, for that ministry. It's been a wonderful privilege uh, to have Michelle by my side throughout my ministry. We actually uh, started courting in about the seventh grade uh, then uh, got a little more serious in the eighth grade and, and we've been together ever since, uh, ever since. Uh, uh, we, we literally grew up together. Uh, she uh, was a member of uh, uh, Kinsey Baptist Church in Kinsey Holler, uh, just across the state line there in, in Whitley County. And uh, she and her mother came and joined uh, First Baptist in Jellicoe. And so we went to church together, uh, married in that church. I was ordained in that church. And uh, we uh, married after my first year of seminary. And she had just finished up her studies at Cumberland as well. And uh, then began to make uh, our life uh, together. Uh, coming to this point, as uh, uh, Dr. Mathis has described, was, uh, uh, was a journey for us. It was certainly a, a, a surprising and unexpected journey, uh, but uh, as the Lord has, has, we sense, has led us to this point, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that, that uh, uh, God has uh, been working in my life to build within me a, a great excitement about the potential of serving as your executive director. We certainly trust uh, his sovereignty over the process and, and uh, the final say of this mission board and speaking his will in the process. But I know that the process, if, if that is all it's been, has certainly been God's hand moving in my life and, and I'm very, very grateful for it. I shared with the committee uh, early on as we began to talk to them about uh, the potential of, uh, in an interview, of, of uh, moving from uh, a pastor, which is the ministry that I've known, the ministry that I've been called to, uh, to being uh, uh, executive director. And uh, that, uh, for me, uh, began to make some sense as I uh, thought about being a pastor to pastors and, and uh, helping, uh, helping lead our cooperative work. Uh, and, and it also uh, sort of came in, into uh, a vision for me as I remember of, uh, story my grandfather used to tell me. He's passed away now, uh, but my grandfather left home as a boy and entered uh, Lincoln Memorial Academy, uh, then uh, high school at Lincoln Memorial University, later attended and graduated from uh, uh, LMU. And this was probably back in the 30s, uh, with the 1930s, uh, I, would, I would think. Uh, he was playing on the basketball team. and. Um, they were in a particularly tight game and were, weren't winning it, but it was a very close game. And my grandfather, who was high school principal for 40 years later on, very boisterous and loud voice, and, 
and he was sitting on the bench where he usually sat during those games. And he said, the coach called him and said, Morton, come over here. And uh, he walked over and said, yes, coach, you're putting me in. He said, no, I'm not putting you in, Morton. What I need you to do is go up there into the stands and get some cheers going. <laughs> so he said, I grabbed a megaphone, ran up in the stands, and got everybody cheering, and, and ended up, we won the game. And after the game, the coach pulled me aside and said, Morton, I've got a new job for you. He said, go ahead and turn your sneakers in. Uh, you're now a cheerleader for our team. <laughs> Thinking about uh, the work of Kentucky Baptist, I believe with all my heart uh, that the front line uh, is uh, occupied by uh, leaders of the troops who are our pastors and our state missionaries. And I've been privileged uh, for about 18 years now uh, to be on that front line in the trenches uh, uh, seeing the kingdom advance. But I truly am uh, beginning to see that the Lord uh, needs some strong cheerleaders uh, who are there encouraging uh, our brothers and sisters on the front line, making sure that, uh, that they know that there are people behind them, praying for them, helping them see uh, maybe beyond the front line to the bigger vision and work uh, that the Lord has called us to as Baptists who cooperate together. Uh, so that, uh, uh, that certainly is something the Lord has put into my heart. And if uh, he confirms that would be his will today, uh, then uh, I would count it a great privilege and honor to serve him in that way and to serve Kentucky Baptists in that way.